bullet graphic okay are we good for that yeah so here we go we're going to do the um, next bit now uh, we're going to do position weapons which is another function that will make we'll put our weapon exactly where we want it to be okay so we'll do that and then we'll go on to position gun to shoot the gun um, so void void uh, position weapons and then we've got this is a very quick function so we should be along with uh, firing the gun pretty quickly so if no clip um, equals equals false because um, during no clip you don't want the the gun to follow the player the camera because that would just I don't want that because that's a bit weird but basically if e equals equals false then you go db position object and you want to position the main weapon okay I had a lot of troubles with this when I was first doing this and then it turned out it was a lot simpler than it looked so you want to position the weapon at db camera position x so you want to position it right in front of your screen that's why we're doing that and then db camera position y right this is the the y axis is the height and we do minus 10 here to keep the height um just at a at a good angle just like where the player's hand would normally be and then we got um db camera position z and that's that um let's close that and that's about it and then uh we want to do we do want to rotate the ca the weapon object uh based on the camera's angles main weapon so you turn left the gun will turn left and so on um, and then you go minus db the reason why we do minus is because uh, by default when you look up the the weapon goes down right and when you look down the weapon goes up so to reverse that we put a minus in there so when we look up the weapon goes up as well so I'm gonna be lazy on this one just do that okay camera angle should be X here sorry about that and then Z there and then Z I mean Y here and Z there uh, and then we do minus 180 here now this reverses also like I was saying by default the weapon um, faces the other way so instead of facing the gun the, the pointing bit of the gun facing forward is facing backwards so this doesn't happen with all objects though so some will do that some won't and then we move the object main weapon right we move it a little bit full I think it's forward we're moving it I don't remember quite why why I put that there so we move the weapon a little bit forward um, because we're not on it exactly where the camera is otherwise you won't see it and then we move it to the right because we want it to be looking like it's in the player's right hand move object right uh, main weapon uh, and we do that minus seven so we move it just a tiny bit to the right and that is our function for the weapon done just gonna check it quickly make sure I didn't make any mistakes good alright so now we got position weapons done we're gonna get on with shooting the gun okay see if we can get on with that uh, shoot gun okay so I'm gonna write it here so shoot gun I'm gonna call that shoot gun and then we go so um, so void shoot gun Now, things we're going to call here that I actually oh, I forgot to do the jumping code. We'll do that in a second, guys. Update, uh, date, bullets. Uh, so we're going to put these here. These are going to we're going to use in a second to um, update reloading to allow the player to reload and do the bullets and stuff. So um, now I'm just going to go back and do the um, the jump code quickly because I forgot to do that. So player jump. So uh, void player jump. I didn't want to pull the code together because um, you do that a lot and it starts getting quite messy. And it's something I, fi I found out the hard way, really. So a little bit of code. Let's write that. So if vy equals equals zero, and and jump timer equals equals zero. Um, vy equals vy times gravity okay so that's that and else vy equals vy plus gravity <coughs> so this bit will will uh, um, keep the player either stuck to the floor or bring him down depends what he 
what he's got below him. So if it's been defined that um, he's not standing on the floor, it'll bring him down. It'll just drop him. So if ground equals equals one and jump timer uh, is greater than zero, then jump timer minus minus. So yeah, and this bit again uh, limits stops the player. Yeah, that's that. Uh, stops the player from um, from jumping constantly without dropping on the floor. So let him drop on the floor and then let him jump again. So if ground equals equals one. Uh, now we go here. We say if db space key because that's what we use to jump equals equals one and jump timer equals equals zero. Then what we do is we go vy equals vy. Now I. I'm pretty sure this is the code. Um actually just gonna check that, but thirty three uh three point three F and then jump timer. Yeah, this bit defines the three point three defines how fast uh, or yeah, what speed does the player jump at. So if you want to increase the jump height, you increase this. Okay, because we Y plus three point three F. And then you go only jumping from ground. Yeah, I think that's our jump code done. Um checking back on uh, my old code here and I've had some stuff a bit wrong actually missing header function so uh, oh new mistake keep doing this and check quickly if the jump works oh here's our weapon hello weapon so here we go guys we got pretty much everything here that we're gonna end up with visually alright so here we go we got our jump going pretty nice um, Good stuff there. We got running, we got walking, running, strafed. This looks looking quite good at the moment. And we just gotta start working on the bullet shooting part of the code. Okay, and then okay, so that was pretty straightforward that. Uh so now we're going back to the shooting the gun code that we were working on. So um so update the bullets. Uh so freeloading this is something I don't know if I've declared it yet, but we'll see. Equals equals false. And current ammo is greater than zero. So if player is not reloading, declare those variables in a minute, but if player is not reloading um, and his ammo is greater than zero, then you allow him to shoot the gun. Okay? Mouse click equals equals one. So if player clicks the mouse. The left uh, one equals the left click, two equals the right click. I think three equals the scroll button when you press it. So if DB timer now we want to, we have to tell the 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 game how often we want the bullet to leave the weapon because otherwise it'd shoot 60 times per um, second and you wouldn't even see half those bullets. So uh, and the clip would go immediately fast. So you want to shoot uh, in this case I recommend 160 because it sounds good and you know whatever so shoot a bullet every 160 milliseconds which is quite good and I think it's alright for an assault rifle um, so now this code does get a little bit well it doesn't get complicated much but a little bit it does uh, so anyways so if bullet counter now all these variables, variables we'll declare in a second by the way is greater than or equal to 20 then we reset the bullet counter to zero. Bullet counter is what we use to check to find out which bullet we're firing. Okay, so uh, because we only have 20 bullets, uh, we want it to get to 20 and just go back to the first bullet again. Okay, so um, and then we go DB position sound because you fire the gun, you want you want that sound to go off. So DB position sound. Want to position the sound at the gun. Okay, gunshot. Um, and db object position x and that will be main weapon we want position this out right at the main weapon um, and then go db object uh, just copy that no point in redoing the whole thing and then we got y here and z here okay um, and then you want to play the sound db play sound Um, and you want to play the sound gunshot because it's been fired and then you say shooting timer timer equals db timer because uh, 
you got to reset the timer, otherwise it won't wait 100, another 160 milliseconds to to allow you to fire again. So now what we do is first thing we do DB show object, right? We want to show the graphic, the bullet graphic. We want to show that. So bullets, uh, bullet counter. So first thing you do, make the bullet visible again, okay? Um, and then we go bullets. I just got to copy that bit, but bullets, bullet counter, um, three. Um, wait, do two first. Equals one. So we're saying we're saying bullet equals is alive, so so that it can be updated and checked for collision against things. All right. So and then we got bullets and uh, number three here. Uh, three uh, resets the life of the bullet. So and then four here uh... we put we can put a thousand you know each bullet well put a thousand four hundred each bullet can live uh... one point four seconds before we remove it forever so if it misses after a uh... one point four seconds of being shot it will be removed because you don't you don't want to keep constantly updating because that will just be resource uh... waste so uh... just thinking about this so bullets and then you go um... this will be the beginning of our graphic bullet movement so you want to position it object um, so you want to position the bullet object so you want to go um, yep so position the bullet db object <coughs> position x yeah we're positioning at the main weapon so just might as well copy this bit because we're positioning the bullet exactly where the weapon goes um, except here you do plus five so it looks like it's coming out of the actual gun the pointy bit, I don't know what it is, the cylinder, whatever they call it, I don't know. But um, so DB object position, and then um, you want to rotate it as well. Rotate object bullets um, uh, bullet counter bullet counter. Um, and then you got one here. I want to rotate that DB object angle X uh, main weapon is it? No, sphere cam. Yeah, we want to face it, make it face wherever the sphere cam is facing. So, do do do, just do. It. Okay, guys. Um, I just had a little. <laughs> there was a power cut or whatever, and I kind of. Luckily, I didn't lose anything. So basically, um, this bit here, just type that in as well. Just gonna edit this, just paste the first one. <laughs> Um, I don't know how, but I was lucky enough to have Fraps just finished the recording before the power went out. But um, yeah, so you position the bullet there. Um, let call that there. So uh, just checking, make sure we're doing the right thing. Yeah, so um, you want to position the bullet there, the, f the graphic bullet, and then you want to rotate it again. Now this is something I couldn't get away from. I don't know why, but I know you're rotating it twice, but you want to rotate it um, on itself. Uh, and then you oh, actually what you can do you can go y rotate minus 180 but you know I did this in the first time so I might as well just do it again and then you go db object angle sphere cam and that I think is right okay so you gotta go like that here so it'll be a lot of a lot of text so just have a look at that so you just you, all you're doing at the end is you're rotating it on itself minus 180 okay because um you want the the end of the bullet obviously facing outwards. So anyway, so then we go. Now I position the real bullet. DB position object. 